Practical Paresis, or How Life Fosters a Mind, by Danko Nikolic, read by Kenneth Unit. Abstract. The mind is a biological phenomenon. Thus, biological principles of organization should also be the principles underlying mental operations. Practical Paresis states that the key for achieving intelligence through adaptation is an arrangement in which mechanisms laying a lower level of organization by their operations and interactions with the environment enable creation of mechanisms lying at a higher level of organization. When such an organizational advance of a system occurs, it is called a traverse. A case of traverse is when plasticity mechanisms at a lower level of organization, by their operations, create a neural network anatomy at a higher level of organization. Another case is the actual production of behavior by that network, whereby the mechanisms of neuronal activity operate to create motor actions. Practical poetic theory explains why the adaptability of a system increases with each increase in the number of traverses. With a larger number of traverses, a system can be relatively small and yet produce a higher degree of adaptive, intelligent behavior than a system with a lower number of traverses. The present analysis indicate that the two well-known traverses, neuroplasticity and neural activity, are not sufficient to explain human mental capacities. At least one additional traverse is needed, which is named anapoesis, for its contribution in reconstructing knowledge from long-term memory into working memory. The conclusions bear implications for brain theory, the mind-body explanatory gap, and developments of artificial intelligence technologies.